snacks. It's like half food. It's made most of food fresh up though. Well, I mean, you know, Deuce continues to do some, some really good things. Uh, I thought Miller played well. Um, I was definitely proud of the way he played. A couple of the young linemen played well. We had a few breakdowns in there, but a couple of the guys, uh, a couple of guys came in there and played pretty well. Miller played well. Elijah Page played pretty well. Michael Manuelos. Um, so a couple of guys took advantage of it, uh, certainly from that side. Um, you know, defensively, uh, we didn't probably rotate quite as heavy there, uh, but still, certainly some guys, you know, some guys showed up um, that, that, you know, those reps are just so valuable, man. You know, those game reps are they're so valuable. It's been awesome that, you know, here three weeks in, we've been able to, to play as many guys as we have. And I mean, I think I think the majority of guys have taken advantage of them, whether it's been, you know, Elijah Hughes, whether it's been Braylon Shelby. Um, you know, Rajon kind of got his deal there, and then obviously more opportunities came up, and he was he was ready for them when they showed up. Um, so yeah, no, I think in large part been, been pleased with how we've handled those situations and how the guys have responded. Coach, three big wins to start the year. Do you think this team has the chance to be the best team you've ever coached? Oh, I don't know. I I don't get too much into that. I mean, I I like our team. We got a long, long ways to go. Um, I've been lucky. I've had a chance to coach some pretty good teams, and. Um, uh, this team has a chance to be a very good team, but I mean, you know, we're three games in, we're one one conference game in with, uh, with a lot of things we haven't done yet that we're getting ready to get opportunities to do. So we'll get our chance, just like you have every year. Like if we if we are, then then we'll prove it here in, in uh, the next couple months, and uh, that that will get proven by what happens on the field. You said the games are never quite as good or bad as you think the first time. What stood out from the maybe the first half film on Saturday in either direction? We did play. We played well on all three sides. But we did a lot of. We did a lot of good things on all three sides. We, we still. I mean, some of the penalties were just, just make you want to pull your hair out. You know, just uh, we just had some really careless penalties. We still had a few busts on all sides that showed up. Now I thought we played hard. I thought we played really fast and aggressive, and I thought that covered up at times some of the mistakes. So, you know, sometimes you go make a play, and it's just really good football, and. There's not a whole lot you would correct off of it. And sometimes you make a play, but you know, you busted something or you did something wrong and we were still, it's great you're still able to make the play, but you're not gonna be able to consistently do that if you don't correct what, sorry, what the errors were. And so there was a lot of that throughout the game, right? There, there was a lot of, it's good, but if the, if the result of the game and the scoreboard blinds us from the areas that we need to get better at, then, then you know, then we won't take it the way that we should, which is, Excited about the good, but a lot of a lot of bad things that need to get fixed. Y'all are spreading the ball around a lot. Anyone looking to get more touches? Uh, not in particular. I mean, just that 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 kind of that has its ebbs and flows. Like the guys that are playing the best, the ball is going to find them. The guys that are playing the most reps, the ball is going to find them. It's going to be different guys, different weeks. Um, so I mean, as long as we're producing, moving the ball, and helping the team win, that's that's all we care about. Lincoln, what's your what's your evaluation of the secondary so far? The defensive line has stood out, you know, but, but from the cornerbacks, from the safeties, particularly pass coverage, what's been your evaluation? Yeah, you know, we've improved. You know, we gave up a couple of we gave up a couple of plays um, in in the first game um, that we we felt like we weren't in the position we needed to be in. I felt like the last two weeks we've really improved a lot. Coverage has been tight. We've had a lot of PBUs. We've had obviously the interception last week. We've uh, um, so yeah. No, I think we've taken some good steps. I think guys have started to get settled in, um, and uh, we've had less mental mistakes. I think we've played pretty clean ball uh, really there the last couple of weeks, which has been good to see. On the note of the secondary, what have you thought about Damani's progress this season? He's doing well. You know, I mean, listen, Damani's. You know, there's you can see the talent, and you can see him improving rapidly. And then he also has some moments there where you can tell that that it's been a while since he's been out there playing that much. And so, uh, you know, he, he's just on a he's on a steep learning curve right now, and he's just he's learning quickly. He's getting better. Uh, you know, he's done a good job taking the coaching, and he's going through he's going through what all young guys that get a chance to play a lot maybe early in their careers go through at some point. Like you, you know, I mean, Caleb went through this our first year at Oklahoma. Like you're just it's just different and you got to get adjusted and adapted and i think he's been he's been better as the weeks have gone on and we're, we're correcting things and he's been able to make those improvements and i, I think it's just going to be a rapid climb for him honestly it feels like a penalties how do you draw the line between aggressive and 
those careless ones. Well, the, the, I mean, the careless ones are just like what you they're careless. I mean, there's it's a pretty easy line to draw. There's no room for it. And um, we had too many of those the other night. Um, it, it can't happen. Good teams don't do that. Good players don't get dumb penalties. And uh, and for us, it's I told them, I mean, it's really simple. You, if we get some of the penalties like we did, those guys aren't going to play. I mean, it's just there's no player that's so good that they're worth that. And so we'll get it corrected. I believe this group will. Um, we don't want to curb their aggression because we are playing pretty aggressive on both sides and that needs to continue. And with that will come, there will be some penalties here and there. Typically, uh, and I've said this to you all before, you go look at the end of the season at the least penalized teams, typically they're all like 500 or below. And you look at some of the most penalized teams and some of them are some of the better teams in the country because they're aggressive. But again, they've got to come through aggression and not through um, you know, not through carelessness, not through things that we can control and get a lot better at. So it's been a big point emphasis this week and uh, counting on our guys to, and our coaches to do a better job of it. Thank you, Charlie. All right. Thank you.